That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like Tin? Yeah, like Tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh, what? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. Vas-y, on va être gentil. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Wow, tu te mets à l'aise, t'as juste mis. Sure, I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had like paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Uh, qu'est-ce qu'on pourrait dire? Allez! No, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie... Uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person. You know, I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh, right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Fais un gribouillage, mais bon. On va dire que t'es un artiste. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr. Time for bed. Okay. Here. For me? For the wall. To make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. Il a fait de son mieux. <laughs> Allez, on va l'accrocher. How about here? Genre, on est en mode sim, ce quoi? Uh, Faut per AJ? personnaliser son appart, quoi. Oui, 
Allez, qu'est-ce que tu fais à dormir en dessous <rire> Hey there, what are you doing This is where I'm gonna sleep. <rire> what No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Tu vas attraper froid. It's gonna get cold down there. The bed's a lot warmer. What about the door What if someone comes in What if they try to hurt us What if they steal our stuff I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. <laughs> if I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Au pire, on met une chaise derrière. Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. <laughs> Good night, AJ. Clem, hmm? this place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. On va peut-être enfin se poser. Je ne sais pas, on verra. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here. Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tintu. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. <laughs> Clem, please. En vrai, il est pas à toi. On va... It's mine. No, it's not. Oh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? <sighs> Marlon? Oui, c'est le chien. Wesh, tranquille. On est amis. Stay back. Gentil le chien. Tu vas te manger un high kick, moi je te le dis. Wow, what the hell's going on? Hey, 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 it's okay, dude. Shh. Uh, you said, Dr. Ouais, reste tranquille. Hein. Fais pas le malin. Sorry, I didn't realize you were so scared of him. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. Sit, girl. 
See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rose. <sighs> okay. I guess. Attends, on va se faire croquer le petit doigt là. Get down on a level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, you bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Uh, utiliser la carte pour regarder au tour et sélectionner un objet. Vieille cabane. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. Get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. That's the pièges. What's the trap area? Hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. Wanted this place to be hard to find. Bien joué. Plutôt I didn't sympa. realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. Pourquoi presque inaperçu? Là, il écrit ne pas se rendre ici. The <laughs> greenhouse. Oh yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. I had plenty of vegetables growing, but it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> We can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help club. Care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much friends, siblings. I can't let uh, them die. Uh, It could break us. <laughs> Sorry, I'm um, just it's a lot of pressure. Everyone's counting on me to step up. The leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. 
Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Mm, on va... Vas-y, j'ai envie d'aller pêcher. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Hmm. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, Vi. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much for your road trip. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted, if gas wasn't an issue, or a busted carburetor, mmh, flat tires, or a transmission, buzzkill. I'd drive down to the coastline, maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun and die of skin cancer. Fun. <laughs> We're all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over turning into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Super ambiance. Youpi. On va s'amuser à pêcher, là. Where are those spears? Hey, about by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. Yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her. Mais là, tu pars pêcher. C'est le meilleur moment pour discuter avec quelqu'un. Eh, tu nous fais chier eh, pour un rien. Et t'es arpon de mes deux, mes deux ils sont devant l'entrée quoi. Genre tu les as pas vus. <rire> C'est trop. I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her, see how she feels about me? It's just been eating non, me up inside. Non, j'ai pas moi. C'est pas mon histoire. Look, I don't think I should get involved. It sounds like you two should just talk it out yourselves. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, it was stupid of me to ask. Ouais, I'm gonna même go pas check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? 
I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Non, je sais toujours à nous tout faire, c'est abusé. <rire> Trouver un harpon. Ok. Hey you, what you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. What does that mean? Mmh. Elles étaient très amies. It means they were really good friends. Like me and you were really good friends? Not exactly. Just some old gardening supplies. Ok, backpack. Ah, il est là-bas. Ok, il faut faire tout le tour de la table. C'est mal à faire 3-6 pour aller récupérer le harpon. <rire> cool. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Ok, let's go. Ah bien sûr, il y a des beaux poissons. Hein. Je vais la rater. Dozer. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess they don't realize it makes them easier targets. I want to try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Pourquoi juste ne pas mettre des planches, faire un piège et les enfermer Go ahead and try. They're not running. Ouais, nous on était PGM. Zbra Allez Something. Good enough for me. <rire> hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night. About the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there. Uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. <laughs> uh. Don't sweat it. I'm glad we got to know each other. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am too. No, no. Petit poisson. <coughs> Ça fait chaud hors terre, moi. Heads up, guys. The hole's not looking that great. Uh, yeah, okay. God. Sometimes she just gets on my last nerve. You know? Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just. <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so. Oh, you know? Just... 100% on va avoir un dilemme genre euh, amoureux soit on va choisir une meuf soit on va choisir le gars c'est sûr sûr à 100% vous verrez putain ils vont vite là et pas assez vite encore Looks like they wisened up. Ils ont enclenché la nuit trois la fois. Clem, I got one. Hey, good job. <laughs> good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Because you blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie. I... Non, pas. Pas ta faute. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... 
I wanted to talk to Brody, to tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. Vous allez vous parler là parce que ça va être chiant sinon Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah. That would be cool. I thought you weren't gonna Thank you. Hey, you slow folks coming? Yeah, we're right behind you. Where are those guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. I know. <laughs> Poor walker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Well, what? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A Sam? Lewis! Spread out. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Et là, je me demande ce qui serait passé si on avait fait l'inverse. Si on était parti à la chasse d'abord et ensuite à la pêche. Oula. Hmm. Empty. Attends, il y a des traces de pas surtout. Footprints. Elles sont plutôt fraîches, un mégot. Hmm. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. What did you find? Monster. Guys, over here! Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. <sighs> Fuck. That's... Fuck. It's his Fuck. Elle le reconnaît, le, just... le Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Take a second. Breathe in deep and hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Eh, hey, tu vas te calmer, me? toi. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. Elle a reconnu le mégo. Maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlin kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. Et nos poissons là, on a suffisamment de poissons, non? Mais j'ai pas envie d'aller à la gare. Moi, je voudrais aller de l'autre côté. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Mais ils sont passés où nos poissons? Or we could starve. On en avait au moins quatre. Fine. Quatre plus un lapin, euh, tu manges quand même. Un poisson, ça donne clairement pour deux, voire trois. 